All right, what's up guys? Jordan Criddle here and I am back with another video for you. Today is again Mixtape Monday. So on Mondays what I'm going to do is just go and uh, look at what type of questions I've been getting throughout the previous week. Uh, you know from DMs, comments, emails, stuff like that. So uh, over the past seven days I feel like I've gotten a lot of questions about um, upgrading microphones and um, you know people having a budget of 500 bucks or less or a thousand bucks or less and you know what mic is good for you know vocals or specific situations so what I wanted to do was make a list of my top five microphones under a thousand bucks that I've personally used on vocals so I'm just gonna hop right into it number five the number five mic is going to be the Rode NT1A super cheap like you can get it for the low i actually have one and i got it used for like uh, some it was under 200 bucks i can't remember how much it's more of a mid-range type of tone uh i wouldn't it, it's not thin i wouldn't say it's overly bright but it does take eq really well i'm able to boost the high end on it and it doesn't really get harsh on me or um you know out of control spitty or anything like that um, so that's a, it's a really dope microphone that fits in most people's budgets. So don't sleep on it just because, you know, it's, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys follow Graham Cochran over at the, at the recordingrevolution.com and that's one of his favorite mics and I understand why after I got it and have used it, I definitely understand why, you know, he's got access to, I'm sure, plenty of different mics and he still uses that one. So Rode NT1A coming in at the number five spot. So number four coming through the front door. So the number four microphone is going to be uh, the Mojave MA201 Fet. So it's a little bit more pricey than the Rode. Um, and this is actually the first mic that I spent over 500 bucks on. And the reason why is that the studio that I used to record at back whenever I was doing my own music, that was their main microphone. And I always, I was always digging, you know, the results that I was getting out of there. So me as the young engineer as I was, I was like, okay, obviously that microphone worked for me. So let's get it. So uh, that mic has a transformer in it, a little bit more high end. You have to be careful with who you're using it on as far as, um, you know, if you're recording someone who has a pretty, you know, pretty bright voice already, uh, or maybe they're kind of essy, might not be the best mic for that. But you know, majority of the time, it's it's really really good as far as getting you a modern sound, as far as getting you a vocal that cuts through, you know, like a really dense pop mix or uh, hip hop. Um, very dope you know it's got a little bit of weight to it because of that transformer so it doesn't come across as thin even though that even though that is bright I feel like with a lot of more inexpensive mics that's a balance or a trade-off that you have to watch out for um, because a lot of bright mics are really thin or a lot of darker mics are just really dull but they don't have much character in the higher end so um, you know I felt like even though it was more bright definitely uh, still had some oomph to it if you dig what I'm saying so number three for you guys who have been you know following along in this channel you know that I really dig this microphone it's the Aventone CV12 aka the Taylor Swift mic if you're looking for that tube sound like you hear on a lot of uh, you know a lot of songs on the radio um, this mic is gonna get you in that direction um, I've seen a lot of people comment about like changing tubes in it and things like that I never did anything to mine and I always 95% of the time I love the results that I got from that microphone um, again more on the bright side can be spitty at times depending on the vocalist but um, you know again nine times out of ten great on lead vocals loved it um, plus it looks dope like your artists get excited when they see it all right so number two is going to be the Neumann TLM 102 for a number of reasons one it gets you that Neumann badge which you know for the people who do understand microphones and microphone brands that Neumann badge is going to bring you business so just having a Neumann in your studio is going to bring you business so that in itself is a good reason to have it but two the quality of the of the mic even though like when you get it 
tell is small. It's like it, it's hard to even take it seriously that it's it's that small. But um, the sound is just it's really balanced. Like um, compared to the TLM 103, the 103 is a little bit more hype, just a little bit. Um, some people have called it, called it harsh. I don't really find it to be harsh, but it's definitely way more of a bright sound. The 102 is way more balanced. Um, you know, the lows are, are there, the highs are there, but they're not really hyped at all. Um, it's just way more balanced. But the cool thing about it, it kind of reminds me of like the uh, SM7B as far as the way it kind of cuts out your room tone. Um, I had that microphone back whenever I was in my old apartment and I was recording in my bedroom and I always liked the way that it just, the cardioid pattern just felt tight. Like it really wasn't picking up a lot of my room like a lot of other mics were. So, you know, for people like us, you know, like myself who's in a room that may not be the best treated room, you know, if you're in that same situation, that's a dope mic to look at because you can pick it up brand new for like $6.99, I believe, find it less used, and um, yeah, it really minimizes your room. So definitely check out the TLM-102. So coming in at the number one spot is going to be the Aston Origin. So you guys saw in the vlog, maybe just a couple months ago, I went to Guitar Center, picked up that mic for 249 bucks, brand new, and out of all five of the mics, that I've listed it's one of the cheaper ones and arguably the best sounding like first of all it looks crazy dope second of all very inexpensive but the sound it's a very balanced sound you know cuts through the mix really well really controlled on the high end it's not boomy on the low end, just extremely balanced. And for the price, it's, it's really hard to beat. You know, you're probably not gonna find any use since they're so new, but for 249 and to get that type of quality, it's just crazy to me. They really know what they're doing over there at Aston, and I'm actually anxious to hear the spirit as well. Um, but yeah, the Aston Origin, if you got a guitar center around you or if you can get it online, depending on what country you're in, uh, definitely pick it up because um, it's a hell of a buy for real so um, yeah that's my list of my top five microphones that I've used on vocals for under a thousand bucks I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be back with another vlog tomorrow peace